guys, so happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. It is, how, what time is it? It's uh, 5.15. 5.15 p.m. I haven't vlogged it all today. I spent the day uh, working on the rest of the painting projects we started last week. We found some more spots we need to touch up on the wall paint. We finally have matching wall paint, so yay. Um, I went and got a pedicure with my daughter. That was fabulous. Um, went out and did some antiquing and shopping with um, Rebecca and Paulius and went out for some cocktails and some really great food. Then had an emergency crisis with the adopted kids and Rebecca and Paulius are headed over there to help them. And then I think they're gonna be staying at least overnight with us if not for a couple of days. And I won't get into it, but yeah, it's great, not great. But that's okay, we're family, they have a place to stay. Anyway, it's just been a busy, filled Mother's Day, and I haven't f picked up the camera. And I love you all, but I can't say I'm upset about that. But anyway. I forgot my sunglasses, and it's a cloudy day, but it's Oregon, it's bright. Anyway. Okay, we got all the errands done I needed to do this morning, except the banking, because I forgot a pen. Um, I even got over to Dick Blick because the kids gave me a gift card for Mother's Day. Got a few matte acrylic paint colors for art journaling that I needed and convenience colors. Didn't need them, need them because I could have mixed them, but convenience colors. Um, I also bought two new flat three quarter inch paint brushes because those I need. All the ones I have are falling apart and have been glued back together multiple times. Yeah, it's bad. Um, but their selection was very thin and they didn't really have anything in the sort of more affordable category that was bigger than three quarter inch. Um, I was looking for maybe one inch flat, one and a half inch flat. They didn't really have any of those, not in the affordable brushes. I wasn't about to spend $40 on a paintbrush. So I got a couple of three quarter inch flats and I'll look over the ones that I have that are kind of falling apart and see which ones are worth salvaging and repairing and making do with until I can find that Dick Blick or Michaels when I can get over there um, who has the larger ones in stock. Um, the very nice man behind the counter said, yeah, because of COVID and everything, the supply chain's been very iffy and spotty, which I, I knew already from grocery shopping know why I didn't think it you know about paintbrushes I guess it just affects everything right so anyway good morning everybody it is Tuesday morning 11 16 a.m. May 11th what was with me last week not getting the month right like hardly ever oh my god you guys I'm so sorry the vlog is so messed up anyway you can tell I was stressed out um I got some touch-up painting done again around the house. Um, I found two more spots after it was done, so I've got two more spots to touch up. I'm gonna go grab the paint and get that done quick and here in a second. Um, I also have a couple of batches of sourdough crackers proofing, um, one regular and one gluten-free, and so the dough is proofing and then we'll get that rolled out and baked up. Um, I got the bulk of my errands done yesterday. And so um, those are really the only two big things I have to do today. My mom is being moved to a um, long-term nursing care facility today. Um, hopefully this one is a little bit better uh, in communication with the family. <laughs> I think she was getting decent care at the old one, but the communication was not what it should have been. Anyway, none of them are great, so I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, she's going into full-time care. She's not gonna be able to come home. Um, and so that's all being handled, along with Medicaid and social services and yeah. Anyway, oh my God. Well, that's fun lighting, isn't it? <laughs> It is a very bright sunny day here in Oregon today. Um, 
it's not going to be too hot, but it is very bright out as you can see. Um, it's going to be in the mid 70s, I think, which is nice. We've got all the doors open, our windows open, and I made two batches of sourdough crackers, one regular, traditional, and one gluten-free. Fed both of the starters for said crackers. They're sitting on the counter right now. They'll be ready to stick back in the fridge when I get back. I am going to go to the bank, which I didn't do yesterday because I didn't have a pen. It's a stupid reason not to go to the bank, but I didn't have a pen. <clears throat> There's now a pen in the car. You know, I could sit and be a potato on the sofa. Of course, there's always art projects to be done upstairs, but I'm gonna go for a walk instead. It is a bright, beautiful, sunny day, and we're gonna go see what we can see, and see if there's some cool things to take some pictures of and be inspired by, so I'll Thank be back. I'm not gonna make myself go up that hill. Bob always does, and I can't breathe when I get to the top. I always do it anyway. I don't know what that says about me, but you know, I'm a glutton for punishment. All right, let's get walking.
this clip, you've already watched a little couple of quick clips of me sewing yet another thing for my menagerie. So, but instead of a pin cushion, uh, we're gonna call this a clip cushion, maybe? I'll put a couple of still images here without all the clips on it. Um, it's the top of it looks like a rose and then it's got the round uh, stuffed bottom. You could put pins in the bottom. So you can put clips in the flower top and then pins in the bottom. Uh, but yeah, how cute is that? Um, one of you all sent me a picture a while back. I don't remember who it was. Might have been Aunt Beck's creations of a rectangular sort of clip cushion with a pin cushion thing in the middle. At this point, I have a menagerie of pin cushions. I didn't need, I don't need another pin cushion. I didn't need this really, but you know, I can't help myself. Um, but we have, we have these three big guys. <laughs> And then we have our turtle and a porcupine. And I bought this one, I didn't make it, but it's a little bird and you pull his tail out and there's a tape measure in there. And then I don't have pins in him, but we have our little owl. He's the one that started the whole thing. Um, and I could put pins in her too, but I didn't. We have the little doll. So now to add to that collection, now we have our clip cushion. So yeah, she's pretty cute. So anyway, uh, yeah, I just spent some time doing that while I was listening to my soap opera and enjoying the breeze coming through the windows and it's a good thing. Morning, I'll be everybody. Back. It's Thursday morning, May something. <laughs> I don't know. It's May 23rd. Um, hold on. Um, it's 11.23 a.m. I am obviously in the car. I spent the morning um, making sure I was a member of the online Facebook event for the class I'm teaching with Bea Grob and a bunch of other artists, including Peg Robinson, Shell C, Petra Fuchs, Marie Linder. And um, I also created a Facebook group for my portion of the class only for those students who want some one-on-one -on -one time exposure and or help from me. So that's all done this morning. I also checked in with my dad and made sure that things were okay with him. I interrupted him working on some paperwork at the new long-term care place my mom is being um was transferred to last night and because <laughs> i interrupted the phone call i am now on the emergency contact <laughs> list um uh, not only because i interrupted the phone call but that because he was like oh hey this is my eldest daughter we should add her name <laughs> so, to eldest child so anyway yeah so now i'm on that list whether that's good or bad, I don't know. Now I'm on the list. So anyway, that all happened this morning. Yeah. So anyway, and uh, by the way, I am teaching a class. It starts June 1st. So if you want to sign up, the link is down below. We explore, my part of the class at least, explores um, the idea of creating a new reference tool to help guide us in our exploration with art and color and using new color combinations in our art, things that are sort of out of our um, realm of things that we would normally choose. Um, I think it's a really good idea and a really inspiring way to do art and work on your art and work on your exploration of color. And so anyway, that's what the class is all about. So. If you're interested in that or you know any of the other classes that are um, being taught there are painting classes and collage classes and you know all of the teachers are all teaching something a little different and it's a lot of fun i can't wait to have time to sit down and watch some of the other teachers videos which i haven't had time yet um but if you want to sign up for the class the link is down below and uh, yeah join us it's going to be a lot of fun all right. Bye. Of course. God forbid I should remember my sunglasses like ever. Anyway, hello everybody. It's about 2.30ish, I think, on Friday, May 
something. I don't know. 14th, I think. I think it's the 14th. Anyway, um, we went and run a bunch of errands this morning and I dealt with some more family stuff regarding my mom and conversations in that regard and updating extended family on what's going on and all of those things to the point where we're aiding my father in making decisions over medical procedures that my mom could have that may benefit her but at what risk and is the risk worth the reward will it be enough will there be any so yeah we're having those conversations Saturday afternoon, May 15th, right? Yes. What time is it? 2.30. Uh, 2.30 p.m. Um, I haven't vlogged before now because there's just been a lot going on today, but as you saw in the prior clips and you see behind me, all of this front yard landscaping is going today. It's going to be all removed today and they'll be back on Tuesday to put new stuff in. So I'm very excited. We've been wanting to do this since we bought the house, so it's a good thing. It's gonna look nice for your wedding. It's gonna look so nice for the kids' wedding in June, so. Hey guys good evening it is um, 10 17 or so saturday evening that faint like jabber jabber in the background might my husband's got a tv on kind of loud anyway um you know the big highlight of today was getting all of the front yard landscaping removed and holy cow, were they fast. And it's all gone and cleared out. They sprayed some things on the ground to kill some roots and some things so they don't sprout up when we put the new new plantings in, which go in, I think, on Tuesday, I think. Um, we didn't get much else done because we were waiting for that to happen and we couldn't really go anywhere. Um, tomorrow we may go run a couple of errands and stop by our favorite sandwich place and all of that stuff. Um, yeah, I think so. Tomorrow will be a little bit more interesting. I think we might just go for a drive. I don't know exactly. Um, but yeah, and Jenny and Brian are still here. They're going to be here for about another week, I think. Um, while cleanup continues at their apartment, I think they've got the um, issues there under control. The landlord does, so that's being handled and... That's them walking around upstairs. Um, so my house is just very full of people. I have gotten some art done, but not as much as I would have liked, but there's just been a lot going on, to be fair. So anyway, my um, 
mom is in now permanent residency at a care facility and they were approved for Medicaid. So um, that's gonna help because they have no money. They have no money, so, and she cannot be at home. So it's gonna be an adjustment for the whole family, especially my dad. They've been together 60 years, I think this year, because I'm gonna be, I think 60 years, 59 or 60. I, how old am I gonna be? I don't even know, 58, I think. And they met a year or two before I got born, I was born, so. Yeah, so anyway, it's an adjustment for everybody. And it does not wanna focus on my face because the lighting is terrible. Because we're in the bedroom and we have like the ugliest light fixture on the planet. There we go, you know, I'm not a professional vlogger at all or anything. <laughs> anyway, it's been a strange week, but not a horrible one. I hope you've had a good week too. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. If you'd like to um, join the community of one of my Facebook groups, uh, follow me on Instagram or shop in my Etsy shop, be, become a patron over on Patreon or any of that stuff, check out the video description. Some of it is in my link tree list of links. Um, also down there is the link for the art foamies I've designed that you can go um, get some for your own collection along with uh, they always have new things coming out and they have some really great designs from other artists too. Um, I'm also teaching a class June 1st with Bayer Grob and a bunch of other, other artists. I'd love to see you over there if you're um, wanting some tips and tricks and ideas for um, ways that you can incorporate new color combinations in your art and how you can work with them, then you definitely want to join the class because that's what I'm teaching. So the link is down below. All right. That's it for this week. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Please don't forget to wear your mask and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.